Hey guys, my name is Minnow, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install PhoneGap and how to make an Android app with PhoneGap. Before we're going to install PhoneGap, first we need to download something called Node.js, which you can download here, right here from nodejs.org slash en. I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. So we're going to show the, download the version 4.4.0 LTS. Click on that, wait for this to download, and then we're going to install it. Click next, accept the license agreement, hit next. Here you can change the file path for the installation if you want. Again, hit next, hit next again, and hit install. The installation of this shouldn't take that long, uh, maybe like a minute tops. And after it's done installing, we're going to click finish. We're going to close our browser. We're going to open up our menu. We're going to type in CMD. We're going to right click on this, run as administrator. Click on yes when prompted. And now I'm going to create a project and I'm going to put this on my desktop. So I'm going to browse to my desktop so first what I'm going to do is type in cd dot dot enter cd dot enter again and I'm going to type in cd space users and then the name of the username which in my case is my first name slash desktop press enter and here we're going to type in phone gap create and then the name of your new project, so in my case is going to be test app. So phone gap, create, test app, just like this, and press enter. And I was going to create a new folder in your desktop containing your phone gap application. Here we are. Now we're gonna minimize our command prompt here. So these are all the files that phone gap gives you. And the files you want to edit are in the www folder. And we're going to change the index.html. That's great. So in here, we can basically remove everything that's inside the body. And put our own app in here. Save it. And build it as an Android or iOS app or, or Blackberry. Or whatever platform you want to use it for. Just going back here, there is a config.xml file, and I'm going to open this up with my Sublime, if I can. So I'm going to open up Sublime. There we go. I'm going to drag my config.xml to my Sublime. And here you can change your support email, your website, whatever website your app is that you're going to use, your team, the author, or just your own name. In my case, it would be my name, description for your app, the name of your app, and here the reverse domain name. Now, this one is pretty important because if this package name or reverse domain name, if you will, is already taken in the Google Play Store for Android or in um, the App Store for iOS, then you have to change this one to something else. So in this case, we're going to try and change this to com.meno.testapp, just like this. I'm going to File, I'm going to save this file, I'm going to exit out of this file. Now, in order to create your Android uh, project out of this, we're going to need to go back to our command prompt. Going back to this folder, we're going to browse to this folder. So we're going to type in a cd space test app, press enter. And when we're in this folder, so this is the main folder, just to show you here, this is the main folder. Not the www folder, but the main folder. I'm going to type in phone gap space pre uh, build, sorry, phone gap space build space Android. 
and press enter. And when it's done building our Android project, you can go back to a folder, go to platforms, and on Android, and in this folder, uh, all the files that Android Studio needs. So I'm going to copy this address here, and uh, now we're going to start up our Android Studio. So I'm going to my start menu, and I type in Android Studio, or Android, and start up our Android Studio here. And then click on open an existing Android Studio project. Remove all of this right here. I'm going to use Control, Control V to paste in our folder path. I'm going to click on OK. And I was going to open up our PhoneGap project, or actually our Android build of our phone pro PhoneGap project in Android Studio. And now we can click on Project on the left hand side in Android Studio to see all the files from our Android project. And now we can see under Android Manifest, Android Manifest.xml. There's a file here. I'm going to click on, double click on it. And as you can see here is the version code for your app, as well as the version name of your app. You're going to be needing to update this if you're going to uh, perform an update on your app and resubmit it in the App Store. So that's pretty important for that. And all we got to do in Android Studio after this is just click on build and generate signed APK and you can create a new store path or choose an existing one. In my case I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to fill this out. Path. In my case I want it to be on a desktop. A desktop here. I'm going to name, name this key store click on OK, type in the password, confirm the password, as for alias I'm going to type in my own name, and password for this, and confirm it, first and last name, so that's my, my name again, like country code, type in NL for my country, hit OK, click on remember passwords, I'm going to click on next, I got to type in my password again, you could choose to encrypt this with OS user credentials if you want, I'm just going to click OK, click on finish, and I was going to build your APK file, and after it's done making your APK file, you can click here, right here, show in explorer, and it will pop up in the explorer, if you click on the address bar here, we'll see that it's in the test app folder, platforms, in the Android folder, as android-release.apk. And this is a file for your app. You can install this on your Android device. You can upload this to the Google Play Store, whatever you want to use it for. Please leave a like if you like this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below. As well as don't forget to subscribe and stay nerdy.